Aloha, I'm Hannah Emery and I am the project coordinator with Aloha Harvest. Aloha Harvest is a nonprofit that primarily focused on food recovery and redistribution. In response to COVID-19, we've expanded with some other projects. Meals with Aloha is a partnership between different organizations. So we have one side, which is Waihata, and they are producing um, 10,000 frozen meal kits over this 13-week project period. And those meals get distributed by Aloha Harvest to Key Project and Kakua Kalihi Valley, where they are then distributed out into their community. On the other side, we have Pig and the Lady, who is producing 5,600 meals, and those are being distributed through Kapuna Kakua to different Kapuna all over the island, and then Pacific Gateway is providing the social services to them. Pacific Gateway Center is a nonprofit in the state of Hawaii. Our mission is to serve, to empower low-income people, immigrants, refugees, and other socially disadvantaged population in Hawaii. One of our values that Pacific Gateway Centers really promote is the food in the event of uh, COVID-19, right? Many people suffering from access to food and services. So we, we are connecting, you know, from the farm to table, to the kitchen and to the end users. We help work with uh, our immigrant farmers in Cunha that provide local produce to many restaurants, including the Pick and the Lady, which is happened to be our client in the business incubation at 83 North King. They even order local produce from our immigrant farmers in Cunha. And those food prepared by the Pick and the Lady are distributed to, to the uh, seniors and kupuna. Our role, the Pacific Gateway Center staff, is to provide wrap around social services which means that after every um, kupuna receive meal weekly, then Peace Pacific Gateway Center start follow up with a phone call, checking like how they're doing with the food, they like the food, uh, beside the, the meal that re receive from the picking the lady, do they need anything else? And so we have certified social worker, case manager, helping with the entire team to run the program and to provide additional support and services to have kupuna. So one of the components we would like to promote is how to eat healthy food. Through the video making with the Pick and the Lady using local produce, uh, it might be hard for the kupuna to go to the uh, supermarket, but they can use other services. Or other people can help them pick up food from the free food distributions in town. One of the examples is the Pacific Gateway Center provide free food distribution every Saturday at our Nakupuna Makamai Center, 653 Alam Warner. We provide a lot of local produce um, that we purchase from local farmers or we got donate, uh, donated. I'm Christine. I'm the executive sous chef at The Pig and the Lady. This is Mama Le. She is the, the lady. So today we're going to show you how to make meals at home for your kapunas. Right, Mama? Because we love our kupuna. And it's also for you guys. And it's going to be very easy and very tasty. I make the oba. Opo squash and spare rib soup. So, so, here we have um, spare rib. And it's just a nice piece of meat. There's a little bone. It adds more flavor to the broth itself. It can be replaced with whatever protein you want. You can use seafood, chicken, beef, anything you want. You don't even have to add it necessarily if you're a vegetarian. And then we clean the opo squash. And then we have some onions and garlic. And then we just chop it all up. Put it in the pot. And then we stir fry that. We stir fry it. And then we put the... We put our seasonings in and our water. And we're just gonna prep everything out because it'll make your cooking process so much easier if you just have everything ready to go right before. And if you do that, this should only take about 15 to 20 minutes. I like to cut all my vegetables first and then go into the meat. And the reason for that is there's no cross-contamination with anything in case you change your mind and you don't want to use it. And you don't have to do as many dishes. <laughs> so for this, you just flip your meat over. You see your bones, they're nice and hard. Just kind of cut into it, right? Shh. 
Sometimes the bone's really thick. That's why you should ask your butcher to do this for you. Are we done cutting now, Mama? Yeah, okay. Okay, so we have salt, yellow onion, chopped up, sugar, chopped garlic, opal squash, peeled and just like rough chopped, or rough cut into like large pieces, and then just spare rib, just chopped about thumb size. And then we have fish sauce and some neutral oil. Mama's gonna start cooking now. We're adding a little bit of oil to the pot, let's say about two to three tablespoons. And then she said you put the onion first and then we stir fry. And you usually wanna go with onion first if you have onion and garlic because the garlic will burn before the onion is done cooking. She's just sauteing it. Do you want any color on it? No, just no color, like just like sweat that. it, right? Yeah. Cooking this for about uh, let's say 30 seconds, 45 seconds. You're probably gonna sweat it out for about a minute or two, yeah? yeah. Before you add the garlic. You wanna make sure you have enough time to fully extract the flavor without getting any color on it. So you're gonna do it on a high heat and just really fast. And if you see color, just turn the heat down a little. Now? Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna add the garlic. Make sure you constantly stir so that it doesn't burn. So you should, at this point, you should start being able to smell your onion and garlic cooking in the pan. Your onions should be getting a little translucent. Not yet. Yeah. We're okay. almost there. Okay. Put it. And then now you can add your meat. spare rib. And then. Or your meat, whatever you want. And get your fish sauce. Yeah. How much? Add roughly about two tablespoons of fish sauce. Then you're gonna cook that all together. So what you're doing, why do you add the fish sauce now? We got the pizza to the meat. And it absorbs into the meat, right? So you're kind of like it's kind of like you're salting the meat, but you're using the fish sauce instead. It's been about four to five minutes. You're gonna add about three quarts of water. This soup will probably, if it's if it's just you, you know, it'll feed you for like a week, depending on how much you eat. Now we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Mama, rice noodle, is it good with rice noodles? But rice. It's okay with rice noodles, but rice is, rice is king for good this. Rice, yeah. Definitely. Also, quick tip for rice, if you cook a bunch of rice, okay, and then you portion it into saran wrap, and then you leave it in your fridge, you can just microwave it for like a minute and a half to two minutes, and then you have rice and you don't have to wait. So some tips for being able to cook a little bit healthier at home. For me, I would just incorporate a lot of vegetables into, you know, what I eat, like salads, or you could make like roasted string beans, or just, Learning how to utilize vegetables, there's so many different ways to cook it. You can fry it, you can boil it, you can steam it, you can eat it raw. Also, if you want to speed up this process, a cover is your best friend. It traps the heat inside so it, um, it boils faster. So our soup is almost there. So what we're gonna do now is skim it, right? Yeah, skim the, the, the bubble, bubble. Why are we skimming it, mama? We got that, make the, the soup clear. Mm. Makes the soup clear. You can skim with like a spoon or another bowl as long as it's kind of like thinner around the edges and that way you just remove the parts you don't want and not the soup itself. A common mistake that people make when they cook is not tasting their food before they eat it. So. You could, you know, you're like, oh yeah, this tastes great. I'm just gonna put all this stuff in here and then you, just, you serve it, you know, to your friends or family or you go to eat it yourself, but you never tasted it. And then you find out, you're like, this is terrible. That's like one of the biggest mistakes you can make is not tasting your food. Okay, so the soup's been simmering for about 15 minutes now, right? Yeah, okay. She's gonna give it a taste. Not yet. Not yet, it needs more stuff, right? Yeah. 
Fish out of maybe about a teaspoon more of salt. And then fish sauce, we're gonna go like a tablespoon. Then we'll give it a stir. You have your spoon, Mama, so you can taste it. One for her and one for me. You're gonna add about a teaspoon of sugar. Mama likes to, um, she's really good at just adding and cooking and just going, you know. She doesn't really need a recipe. So I just chopped up some cilantro and green onions and we're just gonna mix it together. And it's just, it's a garnish for the soup. For me, I like a lot. Mama likes just the right amount. She's trying to taste the soup. That's perfect. And then now we're ready to add the squash. So we're gonna put it on high. We're just gonna add all of it? Yeah. How long does it take to cook the squash, Mama? Very fast. Very fast, like less than five minutes. Yeah, it takes less than five minutes to cook the squash after you add it in. You're just very, very lightly see-through, right? Yeah. Just barely translucent. I think it's totally okay to do that at home. Yeah. Off? Yeah. It's done. Then the garnish, the green onion cilantro that we chopped earlier, you just put it all in there. Here's our special guest, Alex Lay of the Pig and the Lady. <laughs> this is the squashy? Okay. Oh, just like this is like super comforting, you know, it just makes me think of home and home cooking and that's kind of what people need right now, is like kind of home cooking. So that's one thing we learned during this COVID time is about just having good food, healthy, and supporting um, any Hawaii, Hawaii business that we can, so. Oh, that's so good. And there you have it. That's Mama Lay's Opo squash and spare rib soup. Easy, right? <laughs> <laughs>